thinking about time, where do I begin? Do I begin with Big Bang, Magellan, or the Mayans? Should I speak about pendulums or the space-time continuum? Time is an interesting concept we are familiar with and an important aspect of our lives, right? We can spend time, take time, lose track of it, give it away, use it wisely, waste it, and so forth. But try explaining time to someone. Try drawing a picture of it, or containing it, or manipulating it in some way. It's not going to happen. We can experience time, right? We can observe the present moment remember the past, and we are always suddenly the flow of time. But is it actually a real, tangible thing? Is there any way to prove that time exists? All measures of time were historically driven from cosmic rhythm. So today, we say the rotation of the Earth, but back in the day, it was the movement of the sun. That gave you a day. The sun's position throughout the sky was different and the temperature changed, which gave us the season. But as technology and timekeeping devices evolved, so did our perception of time. Instead of just counting the days or the swings of a pendulum, it seemed as if we were counting time itself. Every day, life comprises a way in which we typically think, act, and feel. From going to school to sleeping, we use our time to do various activities. So, I'm pretty sure you've all seen a science fiction movie about time travel at some point of your lives, whether it would be Back to the Future, Doctor Who, or Star Trek. But have you ever wondered if time travel could be a reality? Before we dive straight in, let's make sure we all understand what time travel actually is. Time travel is the concept of movement between certain points in time, similar to moving between different points in space using an object or a person, typically using a theoretical <coughs> device known as a time machine. Time travel is a widely recognized concept in philosophy and fiction. One of the reasons why time travel fascinates us so much is because of our love for virtual reality, which can put us into a world in which we would not otherwise experience. It is natural for us to look for some insight or just to gain some relief from reality. According to Isaac Newton, time is an absolute, true, mathematical, in and of itself, of its own nature, without reference to anything external, flows uniformly. His law formed the basis of our entire understanding of the universe, but it was unable to account for the strange properties of life, of where time slows down and halts when reaching this speed. This is because our universe is driven by large energy and moving an object through these fields at a high speed can produce this effect. Later on, Albert Einstein expanded on Newton in a special theory of relativity, stating that time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move in relation to something else. Now that you know a little bit about time travel, let's discuss whether or not it is possible in the future. Well, if one were to leave Earth in a spacecraft, traveling close to the light speed, turn around and come back. Only a few years may have gone by on board, but many years would have passed by on Earth. This is known as the Twins Paradox, and the traveler undertaking such a journey would return to find themselves much younger than their twin. This is because the twin in space is experiencing <coughs> acceleration, which is allowing them to travel closer to the speed of light which in turn is making them age slower than their twin stationary on Earth. Time travel into the past is a much more uncertain hypothesis because it requires traveling faster than the speed of light. Now notice that this is different than traveling into the future, which requires approaching the speed of light, but not exceeding it. Much work has been done by theoretical physicists in the past to try to determine in a world that is initially without time travel how could one create a time machine that could create new paths that could circle back in time? Recently, a study conducted by Miguel Elsevier, the director of the National Autonomous University of Mexico's Nuclear Sciences Institute, 
has proposed a new idea to travel faster than light. This is known as the warp bubble, and it is theoretically possible as it compresses the space in front of the spacecraft and expands the space behind it, creating a sort of a tunnel. It allows the spacecraft to travel at a higher speed than light by remaining stationary inside the warp bubble. But there may be a possibility for wormholes, a kind of tunnel through space-time connecting otherwise very distant parts of the universe. If the openings of the wormhole are moving relative to one another, then moving between different points in space would also take the traveler to a different point in time to that in which they started. How could one build time machines that go back in time? The simplest way currently being discussed is to take one opening of a wormhole and give it a higher velocity with respect to the other to achieve a speed faster than the speed of light. Passage through the wormhole would then allow time travel into the past. If people could time travel into the past, it could result in them encountering themselves or their grandparents at an earlier point in time. This is known as the grandfather's paradox, and it refers to the idea of where a grandchild could go earlier in time to murder their own grandparents which can result in them in not existing in the present time. So now, do you think time travel is science fiction or a possible reality? Just imagine if time travel to the future were possible. It would open so many doorways that were closed till now. Imagine going to the future and bringing back a cure to cancer, or witnessing a technology that today we call it impossible. Now imagine if time travel into the past were possible. History books would no longer be based solely on exhaustive research or the interpretation of ancient materials. Time travelers could verify historical debates and determine whether things did or didn't happen in the past. Perhaps time travelers could even bring back from the time things that have been lost, such as long forgotten languages. We cannot, as of now, travel back in time and invent things, but it could be a near reality in our advancing future. Thank you.